hello so for today's video we're going to be putting to the test a primer oil versus a facial oil so basically a lot of people tend to not use primers they hate them they think they have no use for them etc etc obviously that's their personal opinion i do like a primer personally myself i just feel like i have a barrier between me and my foundation but a lot of people recommend using a facial oil over a primer so I wanted to sort of try out facial oil versus a primer oil to see if there was any difference in how my makeup wore, how it looked and things like that. So the first product that we have here is the hashtag no filter primer oil. So this is from Primark and this retailed for £5. So obviously you can only pick this up in the store but there's loads of like primer oils out there. Smashbox do one, MAC do one. It's just this is like an affordable option that you could probably pick up if you're going to Primark. And then we also have the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. So this retails for about £8-ish, pounds, which is still really affordable. Um, I have used this, I've tried this out before. Not with foundation, I've literally just used it as like a, basically a facial oil really. And it's really, really good. So basically on the website for the Ordinary, it says that the Rose Hip Rose Hip Rose hip seed oil is rich in lyconic acid, I think I'm saying that right, and pro-vitamin A. So basically it's all good to prevent like um, signs of photo-aging and many other skin conditions. So, so it's high in omega fatty acids, so basically it's obviously good on the daily just to use it and it does say apply once a day to the face ideally at bedtime after application of water-based treatments so i already moisturized so i used the dermalogica calm water gel so obviously i used this before i used the oil and i also used the bobby brown extra eye repair cream this is just a little test i don't know it's not a full size product unless it is then that's crazy ridiculously priced but yeah we're going to do this side primer oil and this side facial oil so let's jump into it so i'm going to take the ordinary oil it doesn't say how many drops to take so i'm literally just going to sort of do this sort of dry on the hose give it a little rub in i don't want to be too oily because i don't want it to come through as greasy you know so I'm taking another two drops just to put it on here So that's that one obviously it just feels really nice sort of feels like a bit hydrating it doesn't feel too oily obviously it looks a bit shiny on the skin but obviously that's an oil for you so the next product is the primer one which i didn't actually say what does but it just says essential oil blend prep for for a moisture rich makeup application with a dewy finish so that's what this product claims to be and now my hands are too oily I'm totally open <laughs> so obviously you get a dropper as well which comes out pretty fast I'm not even pushing the dropper and it's just sort of like there so I'm going to take two drops and put that on the face there take another two drops so at the moment both sides feel the same this probably feels just a teensy bit more oily i'd say i definitely look more dewy on this side of the face so let's go into foundation so for today's foundation i'm going to take the hourglass manage stick foundation so this is in golden and porcelain i have a bit of a self tanner on and i have to mix these so let's just go ahead and dot this all over the face. I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. So I basically used the Hourglass foundation stick because it is like one of my all time favourite foundations. And I know how it wears and I know how it performs and everything like that. So I want to see if it looks any different. I really really like how the um, facial serum looks like the facial oil on this side it looks like just really sort of dewy on this side to me 
doesn't look as dewy but there's definitely some stuff coming through i just feel like i've got a bit of better coverage as well on this side rather than this side but i really like how that facial oil looks it looks really really nice because some people do recommend like mixing a drop of oil in with foundation to sort of get that same sort of look and i can see why like it looks so beautiful yeah that's really really nice um we're gonna see how this all wears throughout the day it's a bit of a late time so the time is half past five i am gonna be out till pretty late so i will do a check-in later on uh just to see how everything wears but i'll be back with the finished makeup on just to see how everything blended and stuff on top as well so i'll be back in a little bit so this is the finished look everything really looks pretty um i still think the facial oil side looks really really good but maybe because that's my fair angle of my face um everything blended really well my highlighter just looks really like stunning on this side i think the facial oil is doing a good job nothing's really separating nothing's really done anything at the minute so i will check back in in a little bit Okay, so I've just ripped off my eyelashes and my mascara has smudged. I'm so upset. I've been trying the Benefit Bad Girl Bang one. Um, that's just not for me, I don't think. But anyway, the checking time is 10 to 1. So I just wanted to give you an update on the... Sorry, the ring light. I'm trying to get as much light as I can in here. But I honestly think the facial oil worked better like my highlighter is still like popping on this side where everything sort of faded on this side i think the facial oil was 10 times better than the primer facial oil kind of thing so yeah the thumbs up the facial the primer oil itself is fine there's nothing wrong with it it's like a really good one but if you're going to pay for a face like eight pound for facial oil and it's going to do good for your skin as well at the same time you know you might as well do that so yeah, facial oil over this one. But yeah, that's the end of the video. <laughs> I'm not dying. So for today's foundation, 